Okay, so let's have a look at question two from the Junior Start Higher Level Maths 2022. We have Maeve and she's playing various matches. And when she plays, then she can win, draw or lose. And first thing we have to do is fill in the table below to show the nine possible outcomes when Maeve's team play two matches. One is already done. WD means she wins the first match and draws the second match. So let's fill these out then. Uh, let's see, we have a win and a win. Here we have a win and a draw. She can win and lose. She can draw the first match, win the second match. She can draw the first match, draw the second match. She can draw the first match, lose the second match. She can lose win, lose draw, and lose lose. So there are nine possible outcomes here. And you can see basically what we're looking at here is the fundamental principle of counting. Uh, we have three options for the first match, three options for the second match. So three times three will give us nine possible, nine possibilities, nine possible outcomes uh, for both matches. So <clears throat> let's have a look at part B then. Maeve thinks that each outcome in the table is equally likely. So each of these outcomes, each, each one of these individual outcomes is, in, is equally likely. And we have nine outcomes in total. Based on this, find the probability that when Maeve's team plays two matches, they win at least one match. Give your answer as a fraction. So the pro we want the probability do this in white here. So we want the probability that when Maeve's team plays two matches, they win at least one match. So you want to win at least one match. So let's count them then. So we have one here, one here, that's two, three, four, and five. These five here are the five pairs of matches, if you like, where uh, Maeve's team wins at least one, at least one of the matches. In the other ones, she doesn't win any here, she doesn't win any here, here or here. So we have five then in total, five out of the nine. So the probability is five out of nine. Find the probability that when Maeve's team plays two matches, they win at least one match. Just give your answer as a fraction, so it's five out of nine. Okay, so that's part B. So part C then, Maeve's team play five matches in a competition. Work out the total number of different possible outcomes for Maeve's team for these five matches. For example, one possible outcome would be win, win, lose, draw, win. So if you think about it, this again is the fundamental principle of counting. Uh, if she plays one match, there are three possibilities, win, lose, or draw. If she plays two, she plays two, if I do these boxes here, let's say, if she plays one match, she can win three, poss she, there are three possible outcomes, win, lose, or draw. If she plays two matches, there, as we saw, will be nine, three times three. If she plays three matches, it will be 3 times 3 times 3, so that's 27, and so on. We know that she's going to play 5 matches, so this is our answer here. We just simply multiply all of those together. So there, for each match, there are 3 possibilities, so multiply those out. You get 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's a total of 243, 243 possible outcomes. If she plays five matches. Okay, so let's have a look at D then. So in part D, we have um, Maeve's team who, who play 11 matches in a league. The table below shows the number of goals that Maeve's team score in each of these 11 matches. So in the first match, she scores, uh, her team scores three, and the second one, her team scores one, third match, they score one, and so on. Uh, work out the mean number of goals that Maeve's team score per match 
give your answer correct to one decimal place. Well, this is just uh, the mean of a list of numbers, if you like. So we have the mean is just going to be equal to 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 7 plus 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. And we've got to divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Just counted them there just to be sure I had all of them. So when we do this, we get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 out of 11. So let's see. Um, give your answer correct to one decimal place. So if we do that, we get 21 divided by 11 which is 1.1.909090 and so on. The 90 will repeat. So to one decimal place, that's just 1.9. That's to one decimal place. Okay, so that's uh, that one. That's part D. Let's have a look at the next one then. Uh, part E, we've got to, looks like we're going to have to do a pie chart here. So it says, complete the pie chart below to summarize the data above, showing the proportion of their games, the proportion of their games in which May's team scores 0, 1, uh, 2, 3, and so on goals. Um, label each sector and the size of the angle clearly. Show any workings uh, out and construction lines. Okay, so we got to fill out this uh, pie chart. Now I've just copied the table in again down here. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do first of all is just complete a frequency table, I think, for these. So we're going to do the number of goals. And we can see that we can uh, their team has scored zero goals, one goal, two goals. They did score three. They didn't score four, five, six. They did score seven. And then the frequency here, the frequency or the number of matches. So under frequency here, we're just going to record the number of times uh, that they scored no goals, one goal, two goals, three goals, and seven goals out of the, in the 11 matches. So they scored no goals in two matches. They scored one goal in one, two, three, four matches. They scored two goals in one, two matches, three goals in one, two matches, and seven goals in one match. Now let's see, do I have enough there? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's correct. So this is my frequency table here. So from this, I'm going to work out the angles that I have to uh, work out here to fill in this pie chart. So let's do that. So let's first start with um, no goals. So zero goals. So zero goals. The uh, frequency is two. So it's so this is zero goals. So it's two out of eleven matches uh, where they scored no goals, and we want to work out the angle now. So we got to multiply that by three hundred and sixty degrees. So 2 divided by 11 times 360, that's going to give us 65.45. So 65.45 degrees. I'm going to do this freehand. You guys would need to do this using a ruler and a protractor. So the first thing you guys would need to do is draw a line straight across here like this from the center. And from that then you would need to draw an angle of 65.45 degrees. So again, I'm just going to be guessing here. Uh, so it's going to be, let's say, somewhere up around here. So you guys would need to do, uh, to, as I say, use a protractor. So what you would need to put in here is 65.45 degrees. I'm not going to be able to measure it to that accuracy, but somewhere around 40, 65 degrees, reasonably close to that, uh, using your protractor. And this is zero goals. Now let's have a look at one goal then. So one goal. Actually, looking at this here, this not only is this going to be zero goals, this is also going to be it's also going to include two and three goals. It's going to be the same angle because uh, it's also two and two here. 
So really we've just got to work out the other two here, the one goal and seven goals. So let's look at one goal. So one goal um, happened four times. So we're going to look at four elevenths times 360 degrees. So four elevenths, four divided by 11 times 360, that gives us 130.9, 130. Point nine zero nine zero degrees. So let's uh, draw that. Now that's less than 180, bigger than 90. So I'm going to say it's somewhere around, oops, let's use black here. So what we're going to do is uh, put it up around here somewhere, okay? So again, I'm guessing here, as I say, you guys need to use a protractor. So I'm going to say this is 130.90 degrees. The angle for one goal is 130.9 degrees. So that's here and this is one goal. Now we've already worked out um, two goals. So that's also going to be 65.45. So again, I'm just going to be guessing here. So let's say it's roughly there. And the same for three goals is going to be roughly there. Let's just put in those angles. So it's 65.45 degrees. 65.45 degrees. And this is two goals. Three goals. And this here should be seven goals here. Now, let's just work that out anyway. So seven goals, uh, let's see, that happened once. So it's going to be one out of 11 times 360 degrees. So one divided by 11 times 360 degrees, that's 32.72. So that's 32.72 degrees. That goes in here, 32.72 degrees. Okay, and that's basically it. So let's just have a look at the question, just make sure we've answered everything that they've asked us to answer. Uh, we have complete the pie chart below. To summarize the data above, showing the proportion. So we have the proportions worked out here. Other games in which Mayo's team scored zero goals, one goal, and so on. Label each sector, which we have done, and the size of the angle, we've done that. Show any workings out and construction lines. So we've done the workings out here. The construction lines as such would be maybe when you use your protractor, you're going to put a little dot up here to show uh, where you've drawn this line from. You may even continue this line up here, but that's basically your pie chart now. Okay, and that's it for this particular question.